are coming here to request rather to appeal to the gov uh, to the government of india the, to the honorable prime minister to bring about peace to bring normalcy to the state we do not want any firing we do not want any killings so all the mothers here have come irrespective of we are not come here to talk about one side we do not want to do that we just want to bring peace bring that solution have you silenced our our mlas our chief minister why are they quiet what is the reason we just request we humbly urge the prime minister to look at us as one of the citizens of india to not marginalize us and not treat us as aliens you know we are why are we alienated why are we alienated why are we marginalized are we not a part of india is my question to the government of india to the honorable prime minister please intervene please say something save us Hi to all this is Himanshu Sharma and you are watching NH1 news with me today is the women from Manipur who are protesting here at Jantam Mantra you can see in the background they are holding banners and the banner says it all the blood bath that is going on in Manipur at the moment it's been so many days and the people who are sitting here the women who are sitting here these are those women who are running the biggest market in Manipur and they are saying why pm modi is silent on the issue why pm is not taking that action which is needed to end this blood bath with me there is one of the representatives who will talk to nh1 news and we will listen what they expect and what is not happening first of all ma'am welcome to nh1 news thank you so much for having me uh, two of our viewers we just want a brief at the moment to start with what is actually happening in manipur and what are these women demanding from the government the women that is the mothers of the khairam and ima kaithil the largest uh, women market in manipur are coming here to request rather to appeal to the gov uh, to the government of india the, to the honorable prime minister to bring about peace to bring normalcy to the state we do not want any firing we do not want any killings so all the mothers here have come irrespective of we are not come here to talk about one side we do not want to do that we just want to bring peace bring that solution and what's taking the government what's taking them so long rather you know it's been almost 45 days and there's not a single word said by the honorable uh, prime minister right. so that is the only concern that the mothers of uh, of the khairam and ima kaithil have and this they, they are appealing and they're saying that if we do not get a chance to meet the prime minister if the prime minister does not say a word with regards to this they will continue to sit here even if they have to give up their lives and what do you think what these women think what's the best possible reason that prime minister of india is not talking about a very significant territory of india that is manipur and the way the blood path is going there lost of lives are in numerous numbers and still it uh, the guy is silent the prime minister is silent that is what we have come to ask that is what we have come to ask we don't know what is the uh, what is the you know internal agenda what is it that what is uh, what is the political interest that they have we do not have any idea with regards to that we have come here to question why is our state government quiet are they made to be silenced are they silenced by the government of india why are they quiet who do we go to we don't have anyone to go to the, our last hope is the prime minister Our honorable prime uh, honorable home minister visited us the very same day there was killing and firing going on they said the uh, i have to mention the suspension of operation uh, we they've asked to not to violate the ground rules and even then the ground rules were violated so how do we bring about normalcy where do we go we have no other choice but to come here and protest right again the question uh, uh, from me will be what is the state government doing at the moment the state government is silent so that's my that is my question to the government of india have you silenced our our mlas our chief minister why are they quiet what is the reason because i mean uh, if hadn't been happened to any other state in india i don't think it would have gone up to 45 days you know the killings are never ending 45 days 120 plus lives have been lost it's not a joke and here we have mothers whose whose sons lives have been 
uh, you know uh, been given up in this in this in this war yeah, yeah. yeah. so and, and the bloodbath that is taking place at the moment is it between the indigenous people of manipur against those who are not no we do not want to we do not want to say that we do not want to bring this uh, ethnic clashes or community clashes uh, side of story it is not between the communities it's between the civilians and the militants okay it's between the we have we have it all in the media now everybody knows what's happening had it been between the civilians and the civilians the war wouldn't have been would, wouldn't have stretched to this far you know it's between the civilians who have knives and lathis and sticks with those of the militants who have sophisticated weapons you know so this is the problem this is the reason why we have number of killings and you know bloodshed happening in the state so we want this to be stopped and again, one more question what are these militants asking for like we have a situation in kashmir there are militants they are asking uh, to the government to set kashmir See, free this is just encroachment of the area i we do not want to get into that whole thing uh, we do not know this is the job of the government they know better and probably that's the reason why they are quiet something there is some reason they are quiet and that needs to be brought out to the public to the uh, people of manipur and again what's your last demand from the prime minister of india we just request we humbly urge the prime minister to look at us as one of the citizens of india to not marginalize us and not treat us as aliens you know we are why are we alienated why are we alienated why are we marginalized are we not a part of india is my question to the government of india to the honorable prime minister please intervene please say something save us so these are the women who are sitting at janta mantra protesting a sort of protest is going on that why the government of india is not interfering in the manipur situation where more than 120 people have lost their lives and it's been 45 days the bloodbath is going on there are militants and there are civilians and why prime minister of india mr narendra modi is silent on the issue because from kanyakumari to kashmir india is one and why manipur has been marginalized this is what these women sitting on the ground of jantar mantar holding play cards asking modi the same question that this woman just asked so this is all from nh1 news at the moment